Hey kids, nice to see you again. So today's video is, is sponsored by Adjustigate. They reached out to me and I thought it'd be a perfect fit for my channel because um, in my book, I do show you how to build a, a cedar fence, but then gates can be a little tricky if you try to build that from scratch and they've made it pretty simple and it's long lasting and uh, I'll walk you through that whole thing. Uh, but first I have a dad joke for you. So have you noticed that squirrels and birds are, are very indecisive. Yeah, they're always on the fence. Ah, so anyway, let's get started. So a couple things I forgot to add about this. Uh, with Adjustigate, uh, one of the things I asked them to do is, could we do some giveaways uh, with this gate? And they agreed. So we're gonna give away three Adjustigates. Uh, so to enter, you'll need to go to my Instagram and tag a friend. It's as simple as that. That way we can uh, draw the names from that and uh, then adjust a gate. I'll let them know and they'll ship you out your free gate. Uh, and then also, uh, as an added bonus too, there's going to be a link in the description with, uh, and you just click on that. It'll take you there and then you'll use the um, code dad, how do I, and you'll get 10% off and free shipping if you order uh, a gate from them direct. So. Anyway, just want to throw that out there uh, as an added bonus for you. Okay, so one thing I always like to do, and I've done this in other videos, it's always good to just get everything out of the box and just look at it. Familiarize yourself with the different pieces. There's only a couple pages of instructions. It has other uh, languages, so that's why this is so thick, but really it's just that, that, and that. Okay, so I just think it's important again to just kind of walk through, kind of familiarize what's going on here. You are gonna need two two by fours for the cross pieces, okay? This is just the frame. The nice thing about this, again, is that uh, it's not gonna sag on you. If you've ever made a gate and you put in that, uh, that cross piece that kind of runs on it, over time, those just sag, they just do, you know, the. The gate sits out in the weather and they just they just sag and so this thing is pretty slick it actually has this adjustment here to keep it from sagging if it starts to sag you just tighten it up a little bit pretty cool uh so yeah so you're gonna need two two by fours one for the top one for the bottom and then you also need your fence uh your fencing too that's going to be attaching to this as well uh so anyway i just kind of walked through it got myself familiar with it one thing very cool I love it when they make it as simple as possible. They have each bag is numbered one, two, three, four, five. It just makes it so much easier. Sometimes you have, you know, you get all these bolts and stuff and it's like, okay, I hope that's the right one. And they try to show you a picture of it with a certain size or whatever. Boy, dummy proof it for me. It just makes it that much easier. So anyway, now that I'm familiar with it, we're going to go outside and install it. Okay. So it tells me to locate the center point on my post. My post actually extends up above and then I got a little uh, bridge going across to the other side. So I'm just gonna call this the top, right? Somewhere in here, okay? Uh, yeah, over just a little low, something like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna figure out where the center point is. That's about 71 inches. So what's half of 71 quick? 35 and a half, okay? So 35 and a half. I'm gonna come down here to 35 and a half. All right, so this was my center point right here. I measured down 16 inches to there, and I measured up 16 inches to there from this center point, okay? And the brackets are gonna go on here and on here. So I made the mark on the outside here, okay? Um, and then you can just double check this to make sure you're good. Just 16 plus 16 is what? 32. So then you just measure this overall length and you're 32 just as a way to double check it, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna actually drill pilot holes because I think that that always makes things go better. If I tried to put, th this is a fairly thick screw. If I tried to put that in there, it's gonna spread and things might splinter. So I wanna remove some of that wood. I don't wanna remove too much of it because you want these to hold, but we're just gonna drill a pilot hole with a, a drill bit that's a couple sizes smaller than this, okay? So I'm just gonna do, this might not be enough, but 
see that how it's just it's thinner than the than the actual screw can you see that yeah so that way it'll just remove some of the wood out so things don't splinter right if I just tried to drive that in there it might actually crack the wood okay so I'm gonna go ahead and mark these first I'm just gonna put this on up here I've got a guy <laughs> chainsawing and a guy doing leaf blowing I think so I'm battling them now that I've removed my gate but anyway I'm just gonna mark these okay I'm just gonna mark where I'm gonna put those pilot holes okay There we go, I can see him, see him, see him, see him. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and Okay, and we'll I'm just gonna kinda show you what I'm doing one one of them. Don't need to don't need to go through all of them with you, but just so you understand what we're doing. See, that way it removed some of the some of the wood from in there so that it won't might need to go up just uh i don't want to go too big because if you do it too big then it's gonna you know they're not really gonna grip so i'll probably go up uh one step and i'm gonna do that for all four of those and i'm gonna do it for all four of those before i actually put in the in the screw okay i went up one size on my drill bit and so we're just going through each of these and okay just to remove some of that wood out of there, okay? Okay, now we'll go ahead and attach. And remember how I said that these things are labeled? This is the screw that you want that's going in here. It was bag number one, and they call them screw J. Okay, so this is how these should actually go. These just wrap right around here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put the top one on, and then we'll put the bottom one on. All right, so this is the upper one. So this is facing down, right? So that's the upper. We're just gonna go ahead and finish it off. Okay, now we'll install the bottom one. All right, so this is the bottom one and this peg is sticking up. Okay, so I've already put in the other screws. I'm just gonna finish it off here. Okay, now we're, we can go ahead and uh, put the first frame on. Okay, so now it says to loosely attach these hinges to the hinge what does it call it? Hinge side of the gate frame. like to just tighten it up just by hand with this just to make sure okay okay that looks good all right same thing on the bottom okay and one little Make it snug here. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now it says to attach these, and basically you're just gonna slide. You can see how it's got a round, a curved part on it. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so that's just gonna slide right in here. It's only gonna go one way. You can't put it in any other way. That's gonna slide in there, and that's just gonna be able to be a, you know, you can adjust it for the size of your gate. Okay, and then we're going to do another one for the for the bottom. Okay, so now next step. Okay, so it says within one inch here. So we're just going to go, 
again, re things are real rough right now, loose, so you just got to be careful, okay? So we're just going to kind of get it over there close, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to decide um, how long my 2x4s are going to be. And so basically you want to go an inch over here, okay, an inch away. So I just want to get an inch, slide it there, okay, and that's where my, that's where I'm going to measure my 2x4, okay? Here it looks like it's about 40, 47. I'm gonna go 47 first, and then that one I can always uh, take a little bit off. It looks like 47 though. All right, so I'm gonna attach the one on this side too. Fight it a little bit to get it in the right spot. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, now I can tighten down the other two. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the to the bottom board, okay? Okay, now that see this, this is sliding still. So, and there's three screws underneath here, three holes. And basically just, I would want to get that roughly in the center, right? Uh, so, kind of slide it around. There you go. Go ahead and I'm going to attach the other two and then I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. Okay, now we're going to attach this. It's going to go diagonally and they say to go ahead and open this up all the way. So you want to get this wide open, right? Just loosen this up because then that what that'll do for you when you do want to tighten this, it gives you some wiggle room, right? If these were already closed and then you installed this and then you needed to tighten it, there'd be no room for it to to move, so we're going to go ahead and loosen up that one too. All right, I just wanted to show you that before. Oops, I'm actually tightening that. <laughs> I want to show you what that looks like before before I installed it. Okay, because you want a big gap here so that you can adjust it later. All right, so then they give you this little uh, clamp here, and basically you just kind of get it close where you want it, and then you just loosen this up. Okay, loosen these nuts on here, and then you just slide that right through. That's what I ended up doing. See that? I just slid it right through the, the hole there. Okay, so then I'm just going to go like this, tighten it back up, get it pretty close, and then I'm just going to tighten these. I'll need to grab a, a little socket here to tighten it all the way. I'm just trying to get it hand tight for now. This is kind of slick. It's a cool little adjustment that you'll be able to make over the years. If things start to sag a little bit, all you got to do is just tighten that turnbuckle and then that'll pull that, pull the sag out of your fence, out of your gate. Okay, so we're pulling this tight. Looks like this is an eight millimeter. So we just want to tighten that up good. So it's close and then we'll tighten it up with that turnbuckle. Okay. Make sure that's tight so it's not slipping, right? Okay. Looks good, and then we'll just snip this extra off. Okay, we're getting close now. The last thing we want to do is the, the latch. So we're going to we, de we decide where we want to put that. And then you have these self-tapping screws that basically you just put wherever you decide you want them. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and it there so it's kind of like a screw that screws in and then it, and then it uh, screws off you know it, it taps it and then it screws all the way in so you can see you gotta have a little bit of patience and maybe even slow it down just kind of work your way with it okay 
So that's where we're going to want, want the latch. And I'll go ahead and do the other one. So there's actually two more here, and I'm going to go ahead and do those as well. Um, so basically we're just going to figure out where that's going to hit. Somewhere right in there. Okay, I'm going to mark these and then put a, a pilot hole on it. Looks like that looks about right. So right in there. Drill a pilot hole for those first, and then I'll open it back up, and then I'll drill pilot holes on the side. So let me go ahead and let's see here. Take that off. I can see where my holes are. Okay, so we're super close now. All we gotta do is put our, our fence boards on. But here we go. So this is how this looks. Nice. Nice and clean. Okay. And just swing back. Nice. I'm just go, I'm gonna go ahead and attach those fence boards now. Okay, so this is my board just sitting on the ground here. So I'm gonna have to trim it. I'll probably trim about an inch off I think because I want to make sure that uh, it doesn't drag because it opens on the inside and I've got cement on the other side so there's no give there's no wiggle room okay I'm actually changing my mind here I was actually thinking I was gonna cut this board but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift it up about an inch inch and a half and then I'm gonna have it come here and then I'm gonna actually put a little just a tiny subtle arc on it just to see how that looks because um, Worst comes to worst, I can just remove the boards and just cut it off straight. But I think we'll just see what that looks like. Um, yeah, so it'll just be a nice, subtle uh, little arch. And that way it'll come actually back down to where it's, it's fairly close to what that looks like, right? So we'll see how that looks. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and start putting these up, lining up the top. And yeah, and then we'll figure out what the arch ends up looking like. You know, you get to pick what you want it to look like too here. Let's see. I want a little bit more to go that way. Okay. And you don't need to leave a gap here because uh, these boards will end up shrinking and they'll, they'll leave a little gap. I like to pinch them as close as possible when I put them up. I just use one screw too. Gonna go ahead and finish this up. All right, so I'm using these inch and a half uh, deck screws. That's what I like to use, and I just use one. And uh, I've my other fence uh, been up 20 years, and no problem. A lot of times you see people use two. I don't think it's necessary, so uh, I just do one. And then this is actually a cedar board. Make sure your 2x4 is meant to be outdoors. If you get one that's meant to be indoors, then this won't last. So cedar is meant to last. Uh, and inch and a half. This is an inch and a half. This is half inch, roughly. You know, they kind of vary. Uh, so you're going to get a good bite there with an inch and a half. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up. And then we'll, we'll probably have to trim a little bit on the side to, to make sure that it, uh, it fits nice and tight for us. So. Here's another little trick that I like to I like to do as I'm doing this. It's always good uh, to kind of measure as you're going along, because then you can see how what you're looking like. So we can see it's about 35 and a half. Okay, so I'm at uh, 35, about 35 and three quarters at the bottom. So it's pretty close, but you could if you wanted to. I mean, I have a, a saw so I can rip it. Um, at the end and that's what I'll end up doing too but uh, you know you can space this out as you go along to kind of make up for that uh, that gap so that it comes out and it's straight at the end again I like to keep mine tight and I have a, a, a rip saw that I'll be able to rip uh, a scale saw 
or I even have a, a table saw too that I can do and just mark it and then I'll be able to rip it that way. But if you don't, you know, just as you're building it, think about that because you can kind of make it come out uh, the way you want it to come out. Okay, and then what I ended up doing as an added uh, look is I ended up putting this extra bracket ac across here. It's not needed, but I thought it looked kind of cool. My wife thought this was cool with these little um, nails, kind of rough nails, and we painted them black just to add a cool little uh, look to it. I ended up putting that uh, that arch on it. I thought it just gave it a nice, cool touch. You could just leave these boards straight if you wanted to. Uh, but that frame, you know, once you got that frame there, you can kind of get as creative as you want to. And I ended up buying these handles too. Those don't come as a part of it because that way you can get whatever handle you want to use. And so this is how this works on this side. So it just, just lifts up like that pull it shut pretty cool right so since it's this way on my gate it's on the left hand side I'm lifting up if it was on the other side you'd push down right just because that that would be flipped and here's another thing that we added to ours is this little hook right here that isn't a part of it but it's it's kind of a security measure we put a cowbell kind of cool my wife came up with this so so that every time somebody opens the gate, the cowbell rings, so. Right, so that way you know if somebody's coming in your gate. Um, so anyway, you don't need to do that. And then I also, when I added the handle, I ended up adding a board here so that I could have a handle on both sides, right? Because th this board would be too thin. If I had a handle, those screws would come through. So I added this board right here. Uh, it's a one inch, a one by four, and it's just in there and so the other one can screw in from both sides all right so i hope that was helpful for you uh yeah that that gate should last a very long time and then you just if it starts to sag you just adjust it with that turnbuckle and tighten that up and pull it up just a little bit i don't imagine you'll have to use that uh too often um but yeah you, you have that adjustment as well so uh yeah don't uh, don't forget to enter um by going to my Instagram and tagging a friend. And then also remember to check out that link. Uh, if you don't win, then you can buy or yeah, buy the buy the gate and then uh, get 10% off and free shipping. So anyway, I hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and God bless you.